Darza's Dominion is a free-to-play permadeath MMORPG which is strikingly similar to Realm of the Mad God, which will pique your interest if you love games that are centered around difficult, high-risk content with a thriving and helpful community. But if you're a solo player, it's not all that great. Darza's Dominion starts you off with a pretty bad tutorial that will cause you more confusion than it actually does help you, as it merely layers on more layers of text explaining how the game works, who the NPCs are, and what they do. It's all such a mouthful that you'd be better off sticking to the shortened version, which is the following. The game revolves around you leveling up one of the many characters to level 20 in a permadeath style to find and kill Darza. In many of the specific biomes, creatures have the potential to drop portals leading to a dungeon. By entering it, you are granted the opportunity to challenge certain bosses or exclusive drops, most notably gems. As once you've accumulated the best armor and weapons and reached level 20, these are the only ways to gain power. It is very important to note that if you eventually die, you have the ability to exchange equipment to your other characters, provided that you've transported them to your storage to secure them. For instance, if you discover a soulbound weapon or armor of tier 7 or even 8, which is glorious or radiant but unusable, you may apply it to a different class when you eventually make that class. And if they're not soulbound, you can trade them with other players. When you first start out, it's definitely a lot to take in, even though the game is minimalistic and visually and musically devoid of substance, for the most part I could hardly hear the music even with everything cranked up, making it feel a little bit boring at times. You can start achieving glory by leveling up first, killing monsters, then bosses, and eventually dying which then transfers over to your next character and if you're good enough, puts you on the leaderboards for all to see. If you have an interest in engaging in casual gameplay, then this game is most likely not going to be something that you're into, as this game is designed for players who are comfortable with the idea of repeatedly losing a new character and restarting with remains from a prior attempt. Although I successfully reached Starza, I was in no way ready to adequately confront him solo or even with the rest of the community. This game is intended to be played as a community, and has a relatively active one at that, with up to 100 players all playing together at once. However, players rarely do except when they are vying to take over the overworld events to fight Darza. The whole point of this gameplay is a never-ending search to get the best in slot and stronger equipment. So you may feel left alone for a while until you're ready to take on a lot of the other challenging content with the rest of the community. Although I do find satisfaction in this game, I do yearn for a bit more complexity. There is just a constant sense of striving to optimize or minimize specific actions to acquire the best in slot weaponry and equipment. However, this is very time consuming and labor intensive, and all of that is lost upon on death, which many people think is a terrible feature, but that's actually what makes this game so enjoyable. As long as you have tier 7 or tier 8 items remaining for your next character, you'll just fly through the content much more quickly and smoothly.